Okay, just got some mix in, mixed integrals here at a, at a two to mathematics level. I've just picked these from a couple of different HSC papers. Um, so I'm going to run through them. I hope you can see um, the actual questions here. These are all pretty early in the paper. I think they're about question two, question three kind of questions. Um, I'll, I'll write out the questions in case you can't see them there. Uh, so first one there. Oh, by the way, ignore the fact that it goes one, two, three, one. They're just from different exam papers. Um, all right. Number one here is the primitive of 5dx. Very, very simple. One line, 5x. Of course, add that constant. 5 is the derivative function of this, 5x plus c. Okay, so again, we could have any straight, any linear function with a gradient of 5x. Its y-intercept is variable, though. It's kind of the last thing I'll say on the constant, but for 1, 2, and this fourth one here uh, will need constants because they are indefinite. All right, number two here. Um, we've got, I'm straight away going to rewrite this in index form. I've got 3 uh, x minus 6 to the power of negative 2 with respect to x. Okay, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my bracket here. x minus 6 to the power of minus 1. I'm going to leave my 3 at the front. All right, now I've got to um, go and divide through by... Uh, my new power, and of course by the derivative of this, okay, which is 1. Now it's 1, if you forgot to do that, you would actually still get the question right, but it's important to check that anyway, because if that were 2x minus 6 or 5x minus 6, you would need to divide by 5. We'd still very much be able to do this, just we would need to be doing some division. Um, we, do, we should neaten that one up. Uh, it comes out to be... Uh, negative 3 on uh, x minus 6. Now, I've not practiced what I have preached. You need to add that constant at every level. Even if it's two lines here, I've, re I've written uh, an intermediate step down here, and then I've written my answer here. Um, I still need to have the constant twice, because I can't just go add the constant here at the end and, and say that there was no constant down here. Well, no, there's a constant at each at each stage. We really should have it. Um, don't forget to do those ones as I just did. Uh, number three here. Well, that's we don't need to worry about the constant this time because it's a definite. Um, well, we've got between four and one of x squared plus x to the half. I'm going to go straight to index form for ease of integration. Okay, so what have we got? Um, x cubed on 3 uh, plus x to the 3 on 2. I've got to multiply that by the reciprocal of the new power. And that's between 4 and 1. Okay, what do we end up with here? Um, well, look, we could go rewrite that in, rewrite this bit here um, in, uh, in its third form again. Look, I think we don't really need to do that. What we end up with here is, whichever way you do it, and, and I'm just going to do the substitution straight up, it's 64 plus 16 on 3 uh, minus uh, 1 plus 2 on 3. Uh, that's that's the substitution there. I have to do that. I've gone and made that into one single fraction here across the across the numerator. They've already got a common denominator, um, and what we end up with is there. Well, 64 plus 16 is 80 uh, minus three, so we end up with 77 on three, or 25 and two thirds. Not an area. That's an, not an area. No units. Okay, that's even worth writing down. There are no units there because it's not an area. It's an integral. Our answers come out nice and positive. Um, just from looking at it, we know that whole area would be above the axis, so it would be positive anyway. So for us to find the area of that between uh, 4 and 1, we'd end up with the same thing, but we have no units because it's an integral, not an area. And our last one here is... Uh, 5x plus 1, all to the half. With respect to x, and, and again, I've written that straight away in index form. Um, all right, 
similar to the second one we did, I'm going to rewrite straight away. 5x plus 1. I'm going to add 1 to the power. Okay, I'm going to divide by the new power. Well, straight away I'm saying I'm dividing by 3 on 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 on 3. Uh, but I've also got to divide by the, uh, this here, the coefficient of x in my brackets. Okay, so what I end up with is 2 outside of, I'm going to, I'm actually going to neaten this one up and put it in third form. Um, the square root of 5x plus 1 cubed all on 15, and I haven't forgotten this time, plus c, plus c. Each level, just throw them in there. Just an easy way to lose a mark in an HSC assessment. Um, often something that looks like it might only be worth one mark is given two. Uh, or it's an easy one marker and you go and forget the constant and you might lose a mark for it. So just don't work so hard to get the question right and then forget to put in a constant. Okay, hopefully we've got these basic integration skills down packed.